Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. Our team arrives on time and is always professional. Be sure your unit is ready for the cooler temperatures by visiting our website, callks.com today, and schedule your appointment. It's fast and easy. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 1112. The Weather Extreme video, this is the afternoon edition for Tuesday, the 23rd of January. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather nice and quiet for the rest of the week. Cool days, chilly nights, rain at times this weekend. Check it out. There's the upper air look. The big uh, trough beginning to lift out, the one that brought the rain yesterday, the cooler air today. There's the visible satellite view. Clouds over the extreme northern part of the state. Uh, Huntsville and points north. The rest of the state is mostly sunny. As you might expect, it's cooler up in the Tennessee Valley with the clouds. Huntsville 48, Birmingham 54, Montgomery 57. We'll be close to freezing tomorrow morning. In fact, many spots could be below freezing. Around the region, 36 at St. Louis, 43 Nashville. And up north, it's cold, but nothing like the brutal cold we saw last week covering much of the continental United States. Pretty quiet day today. You know, we had uh, the snow and ice deal going on last week at this time, but uh, uh, not much happening. Winter storm warnings for the northern tip of Maine and parts of the northwestern states. Severe storms? No. Maybe some thunder for South Florida and the upper Atlantic coast. And the rain for the next seven days. Heaviest rain, the upper Pacific coast. Down here, rain amounts in our state about one-half inch for the north, over one inch for the south. The next chance of rain will be at times this weekend. So, model fans, let's dive in. This is the GFS tomorrow at noon. Still got troughing north of the state, and again, a cool, dry air mass. We start the day uh, right at or just below freezing, the high in the low to mid-50s, between 52 and 55. Very seasonal. Pretty much the same deal Thursday. We start the day around 30, the high well up in the 50s, the sky bright and sunny, high right on top of us. And Friday, the winds kick into the south. Uh, we start the day in the 30s. Pretty decent chance we could see 60, maybe even low 60s Friday. With a southerly breeze, the sky should be mostly sunny. All right, weekend fans, this is the uh, Saturday look. At Saturday at noon, moisture increases. We might get away with dry conditions Saturday morning, but we'll probably need to mention a chance of rain by Saturday afternoon. And Sunday, some chance of rain as well, with a low down in the Gulf of Mexico. This is the European Sunday at noon. It's got rain mainly over the eastern half of the state. Looks like the better chance of rain this weekend could be late Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday morning. But certainly some risk of rain at times both days. No flooding, no severe weather. Uh, nothing like that. Maybe some thunder. Rain amounts probably about one half inch here. Monday, that system is on by. The sky should be sunny, cooler, the high around 50, the low around 30. And a week from today, Tuesday the 30th, northwest flow aloft, a dry air mass. Again, we start the day probably in the 20s. The high should be in the low 50s. This is the end of the forecast period. Ooh, look at this. Friday of next week. 2nd of February, deep trough digging down across the eastern states. And if that's right, we turn sharply colder. Even some evidence there could be a few snow flurries on the backside of some departing rain that would likely come through here Thursday of next week. So something to watch. But again, the reminder, winter is far from over. These are the anomalies coming off the GFS Friday of next week. Well below average for much of the central and southern states. We'll keep going. This is the European Ensemble output for the 7th of February. And again, this is 360 hours out, but there's been very good consistency in the idea of a pretty cold air mass coming down the pike from Canada. So it sure looks like once the month of February gets here, we'll start to turn colder again at some point soon after that. Numbers coming off the uh, European. Highs mostly in the 50s through the rest of January, then dropping in the 40s. And don't be shocked if they trend lower than that at some point into February based on the trends we're seeing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, KS Services is now running their $59 fall tune-up special. The weather's getting cooler and the days are getting shorter. Don't let the fall weather sneak up on you. Call us today. 205-322-9090, AL certification number 11120.